What's going on guys? Welcome back to another awesome feeding video here at Hostways Exotics. Today we're going to be feeding the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. This is the world's largest rattlesnake and mine isn't quite that large yet but maybe in a year or two he may get pretty pretty big like they get up to maybe about five six feet long man so they're massive rattlesnakes they are one of the most venomous snakes here in north america by volume because of the sheer amount of venom they can pump into you and they have a pretty nasty venom on top of that so definitely want to be careful with this guy but i treat him very well he's a pretty nice well-mannered snake i would say as far as a rattlesnake would go i guess but you know how that is i'm gonna keep a venomous snake so anyway nevertheless let's go ahead and pop a little friend in here Go and get started. Maybe he don't just walk straight over to him, but looks like it. Oh snap! Look at that feeding response. He's like, what that is? What that is? Whew! Is that a food? Whoo! Did you get him? I think you got him. Oh yeah, boy. Oh lord, there you go. Sheesh. And the flip up like that, and then he just look at that guy. That mouth done. That's thirty seconds tops. Inject a fair amount of venom into him. And then next thing you know, he's going to eat them on up. But hopefully he'll be shedding soon. Get all this little bit of stuck shed that he has on his face. I don't know if you guys can tell. But he has a little bit on his little nose region area. A little bit. And I don't know. He may have an eye cap on him. But I think I can probably get it off in this next shed cycle. So hopefully we can get some good food in him. And he'll go ahead and shed out for us. But he's still awesome looking snake. All everything else looks good on him. He has no lumps, no sores, no scabs anywhere. He's a good clean enclosure here, fresh water. But every time I feed do these feeding videos, I clean out everything. I just got the poop out of here. Gave him some fresh water well, I haven't put no water in there yet. I'm gonna put some in there now. I got the water jug over here. It's all good though. But nevertheless, we're gonna watch this guy. He's probably gonna watch me until he gets his food but maybe he'll turn around and try to figure out about this mouse because as you guys know I've been trying to figure out how to get him to eat without me having to tong feed it to him after he strikes but either way as long as you're eating I'm still happy with just that you know because he's getting nutrition and he's getting hydrated and everything else so that's the main thing is learning about the animal safety and animals health so 